Welcome to Nguyen Nam Podcast Channel. In today's episode, I'll talk about the variety of Shiba Inu coat colors. A Shiba Inu's coat is one of the breed's most magnificent assets. A proper Shiba Inu coat lends a hand in giving Shiba their unique and regal looks. The bright fox red coat of red Shiba Inu is both the most beautiful and most popular coat of the three standard coat colors. The nuanced balance of deep reds melding with creamy white urogyro markings is both understated and striking at the same time. The black and tan Shiba has a gorgeous and deep rusty black coat speckled with adorable tan points on the face, chest, and legs. Black and tans are known for their impishly cute looks and are sometimes mistaken for huskies. The most mysteriously captivating of the three coats is the sesame coat. A sesame's magnificent wolf-like coat is both rare and intriguing. For Shiba Inu enthusiasts, finally setting eyes on true sesame is an exhilarating treat. Shiba Inu is a double-coated dog breed, the outer coat being stiff and straight, and the undercoat being plush and thick. Double-coated dog breeds shed continuously throughout the year. Twice a year, the shedding or coat blowing becomes heavy, usually during spring and fall. Shiba Inu Outer Coat in breed standards, the outer coat, also called guard hairs, of Shiba is vibrantly colored, straight, and stiff. In the show ring, a Shiba's coat texture is important. The guard hairs should be rigid and not have any softness. The length of the coat should be about 2 inches over the withers. On the Shiba's body, the guard hairs stand a bit off the body. On the Shiba's face and legs, the coat should be short, even, and full. The Shiba's tail hair is slightly longer and stands up a bit over the tail. Shiba Inu Undercoat The undercoat is soft, plush, and thick. Red Shibas have light-colored undercoats while sesame and black and tan Shibas have darker grayish-brown undercoats. Sashi G or dirty red Shibas carrying a recessive black and tan gene will typically have dark undercoats like black and tan Shibas. The Purpose of a Double Coat the two layers of coats on your Shiba Inu have two important functions. The dense undercoat acts as an insulator to keep the dog warm in the winter and cool in the summer. The outer coat acts as a type of jacket and repels both moisture and dirt. It also helps to protect your dog's skin from sunburn and pesky insects. Because Shiba coats have both the function of insulating a Shiba as well as protecting their skin from sunburn and pests, Shiba coats should never be shaved. Shiba Inu Urogyro the distinct white markings on Shiba coats are called urogyro and are an important element of a Shiba's coat. The loose but accurate definition of urogyro translated from Japanese means undersurface white. The color tone of urogyro ranges from white to slightly off-white. Many animal species like birds, fish and reptiles also have these types of markings, or countermarkings or camouflage since prehistoric times. The dark on top and light on bottom camouflage markings helps animals to blend into their natural surroundings. All Shibas must show proper urogyro distribution to conform to breed standards. Red Shibas have the most urogyro coverage out of the three standard coat colors. On a Shiba's face, the urogyro must be present on the side and bottom of the mouth, on the cheeks, and inside the ears. Light-colored dots are permitted above the eyes in all colors but are mandatory for black and tans. Urogyro must also be seen on the neck, chest, for chest, ventral side of the tail, and on the inside area of the legs. The transition of color gradation from urogyro to coat color should be gradual and soft, especially for red Shiba. Black and tan Shibas often have urogyro that resembles two triangles on the chest that resembles a bow tie at times. While DNA testing can check for traits such as the long-haired gene, there's no definitive genetic test for assuring proper urogyro. However, it has been observed that Shibas carrying the cream gene will display brighter urogyro, covering more coat area than non-cream gene carrying Shibas. Red Shiba Inu The red Shiba is the most popular and desired coat color. It's also the most common coat color, comprising of 70% or more of all Shibas. The coat of red Shibas should be vibrant and pure with a candlelight orange intensity. Clear, red-coated Shibas are preferred, but reds with slight black tipping on the guard hairs are permissible. The intense orange color and urogyro of a red Shiba give it the famous fox-like appearance. 
Because there is more guard hair down the spine, slight black tipping will cause that part of the coat to appear darker. A bit of evenly scattered distributed dark hair along the back and dorsal side of the tail is permissible. Pale and light-colored red coats are not desirable. The cause of pale shebas is sometimes due to the sheba having sparse guard hairs, which allow more of the pale undercoat to show through. Out of all the Shiba Inu coat colors, it's harder to find the perfect red coat texture due to the tendency of their coats being softer in texture. Black and Tan Shiba Inu The black and tan Shiba coat is tricolored consisting of a black base coat, tan points, and urogyro. The black should give have a rusty brown cast due to the fact that each individual guard hair typically consists of three different hues, cream, rusty buff, and rusty black. Black and tan coats shouldn't have a bluish hue and their undercoats are gray or buff colored. The separation of the black colored areas is clearly defined from the tan colored areas. The tan points are located above the eyes, on the sides of the muzzle, and on the outsides of the fore and hind legs down towards the toes. Tan points are also allowed on the inside of the ears and the ventral side of the tail. The guard hairs should stand away from the body allowing the undercoat to be seen from behind or when brushing the coat backwards. On the face, the oval tan points above the eyebrows are about the size of thumbprints and shouldn't be any bigger, so that it causes an illusion of half moon above the eyes. From the eyes, there should be black separating the eyes from the white tan mask of the cheeks and muzzle. Sesame Shiba Inu True sesame shibas are quite rare. Many Shiba owners think they have a sesame when in reality they are most likely to have a sashi ge or dirty red Shiba. True red sesame has beautiful, vibrant, red base hairs with a tipping of black points that are evenly distributed throughout the body and head. Some true sesames with dull red base hairs have all the qualifications to be considered true red sesame, but lack the desirability of a sesame that has a vibrant red base coat. Sesame Shibas are sometimes called Sable Shibas, which is technically correct with a caveat. All sesame coats can be considered sable coats, but not all sable coats can be considered sesame coats. Sables, on the other hand, do not have black points evenly distributed throughout their body. Instead, sables usually have a smattering of black along their backs and sides, but not covering the entire torso. Also, sables don't usually have any black on their heads. Sables that have areas with highly concentrated black hairs causing black saddles are undesirable. Sesame Shibas are fairly dark but there shouldn't have more than 50% black coverage on the coat. These stringent coat requirements are one of the main reasons finding a truly gorgeous red sesame is a rare but delightful treat. Dirty Red Shiba Inu Shibas with a sashi ge or shaded red coat are often confused with sesame shibas, which led to them being registered as red sesame shiba in the past. Dirty red shibas are not sesame shibas and should be classified as reds for purposes of registration only. A dirty red shiba's coat is red with black tipping marking some or much of the body. This black tipping is never solid black and instead is dispersed evenly in the areas that are located and the black tipping or shading is not found on the face. This fact is one way to rule out the Shiba being sesame as all sesames have black tipping on their face. Dirty red Shibas usually have off-white or creamier color urogyro markings than red Shibas. Genetically speaking, dirty red Shibas often carry the black and tan gene in addition to the absence of the cream gene. Cream Shiba Inu Cream Shibas are purebred Shibas with a white, cream coat and a white undercoat. The cream coat color is a majorly faulted coat color that does not conform to breed standards. The urogyro or white markings on shebas are important for breed standards and cannot be distinguished on cream shebas, which is why it's a major fault. Cream shebas are the results of a recessive pale red gene that got passed from one or both its parents. Since a cream shiba is the result of a recessive pale red gene, cream shiba is not pure white but rather cream coating. Red tipping on the ears is common. Since the black gene is missing, creams do not have any black in their coat. For reasons yet not completely understood, some cream shibas have cream coats with a hint of pale peach, yellow, or salmon colors. In Japan, Nippo does not allow cream shibas in the show ring, but they can be registered.
Cream Shebas should not be mistaken for other forms of white-coated dogs such as albino, double merle, harlequin, and extreme white piebald, all of which are associated with increased health issues. Cream Shebas are just as healthy as other Shebas except when they are purposely inbred by unscrupulous breeders. All reputable Sheba Inu breeders who breed for the love and preservation of the breed will not knowingly breed cream Shebas, or genetic pairs that can possibly produce a cream Sheba puppy. While genetic testing is a deep and complex subject, most tests for coat color and coat length are fairly reliable. Pinto Piebald Sheba Inu Pinto or piebald Shebas have coats that appear to have flat white markings, spots, and socks. The term socks relate to the white markings on the paw that can either look like short socks or longer socks. The pinto can have various degrees of white markings ranging from a few spots to almost fully white with darker spots, like a Holstein cow. Most breeders will have some tolerance for some white pinto markings on the chest and paws. However, there comes a point when a pinto becomes labeled as a serious mismark due to extensive white markings. The pinto is even less favored than the cream by the Japanese and has been purposely selected against, mainly for aesthetic reasons. The pinto is not the cause of mixed breeding but rather from recessive genes just as with the cream. Currently, genetic tests can only identify one a white spot gene but it has been theorized that there may be another gene responsible for white spotting. Because of the complexity of genetics, Breeders can use a combination of DNA testing and common-sense breeding practices to have the best chance of avoiding mismarked Shebas. Unfortunately, Pinto Shebas are normally, but not always, a good indication that the Sheba was bred from a puppy mill or backyard breeder. Creeping Tan Saddle Tan Sheba Inu The creeping tan coat is a rare anomalous variation of the black and tan coat. It's also the same type of coat found on German Shepherds, Airedales, and certain hounds. Much of the coat is saddled with black throughout the back and parts of the chest. The face is usually all red. This type of coat does not conform at all to breed standards and should never be bred purposely. The exact genes causing this coat variation are not fully understood which makes DNA testing for this coat unreliable. The only way a breeder can reliably avoid breeding this coat is by breeding two pure red Shebas and avoiding the black and tan gene altogether. Sheba Inu Coat Care To keep your Sheba coat healthy and beautiful, two things must be considered, their diet and proper grooming practices. It's important to feed your Sheba the best food possible, preferably a balanced, homemade diet rich in omega-3, polyphenols, and quality proteins. Also, always be sure to provide your Sheba with fresh water. Since Shebas are double-coated dogs that shed, extra attention must be given to ensure that their coat stays healthy and manageable. Frequent brushing with the right tools will help to keep the undercoat from matting while the brushing will help to distribute oil from the skin to the coat. Blowing Coat, Sheba Style Shebas will blow or shed their undercoat twice a year typically during spring and fall. During this time, the normal amount of daily Sheba shedding amps up to full power. For a week during this coat blowing season, be sure to groom your Sheba regularly to prevent undercoat matting. The extra grooming will also prevent excessive fur in your living areas, clothes, and yes, food. Bathing should be done on a semi regular basis, especially if they suffer from any allergy issues. The same oils that are beneficial for your Sheba's coat eventually accumulate to the point of clogging up the pores in the skin. This trapped oil also traps debris and bacteria which eventually leads to the dreaded smelly dog odor. So basically, bathing is necessary to keep your Sheba's coat hygienic and free from debris, old skin oil, and other gunk that can accumulate on coats. It's 2023, don't believe the myth that bathing is harmful to a dog's coat. It's almost been a century since this myth was indeed a reality when pet soaps were made out of harsh, caustic chemicals such as lye. There is such a wide selection of high-quality, organic shampoos and conditioners that work to improve and protect both the coat of the skin of your Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu Coat Problems First, Brittle Dull Coat Shiba with dull or brittle coats could be suffering from a number of different health issues which include hormonal imbalance, thyroid issues, Cushing syndrome, diabetes, parasitic infestation, and cancer. 
Sometimes a poor diet lacking proper nutrition and omega-3 oils can also contribute to the dulling of coats. Even though certain commercial dog foods include omega-3 oils in their foods, much of the value is lost due to the high heat processing. If the dulling is moderate to severe, then it's best to see a vet as soon as possible. Second, hair loss or alopecia. Having a Sheba with hair loss whether mild, moderate, or severe is a disheartening and worrisome experience. Hair loss can be caused by a wide range of culprits such as allergies, mange, folliculitis, hormonal, immune, or endocrine issues, and infections. Diagnosing the exact cause of the hair loss should be done by a veterinarian as soon as possible so treatment protocols can be prescribed. Third, excessive shedding. During coat blowing seasons, Shebas will lose a lot of fur which is normal. However, when Shebas lose so much fur that bald spots appear, there could be an underlying issue causing excessive hair loss. As with normal hair loss, hair loss from excessive shedding can be caused by a number of issues including self-induced hair loss due to excessive licking, diet, immune problems, medications, pregnancy or hormonal imbalance, kidney, liver, thyroid disease, adrenal disease, parasites, allergies, fungal or bacterial infections, environmental like shampoo or pesticides. With so many possible causes of hair loss, it's best to consult your veterinarian early on to develop a proper treatment plan. There are other skin issues that affect coat appearance. Hot spots. Hot spots or acute moist dermatitis is a common skin problem caused by excessive scratching and licking in the one hot spot area. Hot spots are caused by a number of issues, many are the same culprits causing hair loss. Hot spots are not contagious or a serious issue in it and by itself, however, the underlying cause of the hot spots could be. Only your veterinarian can properly diagnose the underlying cause and prescribe a treatment plan. Wearing a dog cone can be very helpful in preventing your dog from excessive licking and biting. Seborrhea Canine seborrhea is a common skin condition in dogs characterized by flaky skin as well as oily skin and hair. The accumulation of excess oils leads to a clogging of skin pores causing an unpleasant odor. The cause of canine seborrhea is either inherited or caused by a secondary disease such as diet, allergies, parasites, endocrine and immune disorders. Idiopathic seborrhea is not treatable but can be managed. Diet and supplementation play a big role in managing seborrhea. Consult with your veterinarian to receive a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Mange Mange is a highly contagious skin disease caused by exposure to the sarcoptes mite from other infected animals. It is a serious issue that can be transmitted to humans and other animals. Veterinary care and in some cases, quarantine are warranted immediately. Treatment time takes roughly four to six weeks and includes a rigorous bathing schedule with scabicidal dips such as ivermectin. Certain cases will also call for oral medications. Folliculitis Folliculitis, often referred to as bacterial folliculitis, is one of the most common canine skin infection. Folliculitis develops when healthy hair follicles become infected with a bacteria that is normally found on the animal's skin. Usually, this bacteria does not cause any issues. However, when hair follicles become irritated or damaged due to scratching, trauma, or an underlying disease, bacteria sets in and results in an infection. Underlying diseases such as thyroid diseases and autoimmune diseases can be the source of folliculitis. Other skin problems like allergies, canine acne, and parasitic, fungal issues can lead to folliculitis. Folliculitis is characterized by red, itchy skin that can experience hair loss, swelling, color changes and pain. It can be treated with a combination of oral medication, topical medication, and addressing the underlying cause. Ringworm Ringworm is a highly contagious skin disease that is actually caused by a fungus. Although ringworm is not an acutely serious skin disease, it is a disease that can spread to other animals as well as humans. If you've ever had or heard about athlete's foot, that's the same fungus as ringworm. Symptoms of ringworm include circular areas of hair loss, inflamed skin, scabs, and dry, brittle hair. Ringworm does not usually cause much itching. Young, old, and immunocompromised dogs often are more prone to ringworm disease. 
Ringworms are treatable with a combination of oral drugs and topical medication. It's also critical to thoroughly clean and disinfect all of the areas that your dog inhabits. This is the end of today's episode. Thank you for listening.